everyone, happy Friday. Well, today is the big day. It is the reveal of my buffet over there that I got done. Now I did get it done, let's see what day was it, Wednesday? I had it all done, but I was waiting for some hardware to come in because I wanted it to coordinate with my buffet over here. And I know you can't see with the camera angle here, but my knobs that are on my doors have back plates on them and the, the buffet does not. And I thought that would help coordinate it a lot better. So I ordered some back plates that I thought were kind of nice looking. It came Wednesday afternoon, however, they were way too small to use. It'd be okay if my knobs were smaller, but it just did not look right. So I had to return those. And you know, if I can find some, I will definitely put some on there. But for now, it's okay the way it is. I do love the way it looks. But before I show you what the buffet looks like, I got two things I want to show you. The first thing I want to show you is a quick video on something amazing that I saw in my backyard about three days ago. Wasn't that amazing? I have never had seven bucks in my yard before. And here you hardly get any deer in our area. They're more to the east, more of the wildlife. We do have a little bit here, but I've only seen two bucks at the most and maybe one and a few does, but seven, even in our last home where we had tons of deer in the neighborhood, I would get a lot of does, but not bucks. That is amazing to see that. It was so funny because I was just walking through, you know, past this area here in front of my dining room into the kitchen. And I just happened to glance to the left as I was going to the kitchen and I saw some movement in the backyard. So I went to the, the patio door and I, I, first I only saw five. I, I was telling my husband, I said, there are like five huge bucks laying in our backyard and some are standing. And he's like, wow, really? And I said, yeah, so I'm just kind of watching it. And I saw another one and then another one turned out to be seven. So I had to get a little bit of, of video footage and of course I got a few pictures of it. And they even let me come out there. I didn't get super close to them, but I did get to stand on the patio and they just looked at me like, what? <laughs> they couldn't figure out what I was doing. They just, they didn't spook them at all, but I just thought that was so amazing. I wanted to share that with you. Now, the next thing before we see the finished buffet is I got a little bit of video footage showing the stages on it and how I did it and of course the before. So let's check that out really quick. Then we're going to see the finished buffet and I'm also going to do some decorating on it. So here is my buffet when I got it home. And as you can see, there are lots of scratches and dings in it. It, it just needs a little TLC. It's going to be pretty again. And here's the price, $44.99, and I got it half off. It does have a couple holes in here. I don't know why. A few deep scratches, just going to do some sanding. And I did find out that there are some brackets on the back, so this is actually the bottom to a hutch. And it's a Sears, oh, what's it called, Open Hearth Collection. So I did a little bit of research, and I found... A picture here it's not a very big picture but this is what it really looked like here's somebody that was selling one a while back so all right so here is one coat on here and it doesn't look pretty with one coat at all and I'm gonna end up doing four coats on here even on the doors the drawers only took three coats for some reason and I'm also going to be showing you how I distress 
this piece, but I'm just going to show you on one of the doors really quick. And I use 120 grit sandpaper to do it. You can use a lower number if you want. Now, I've got this sped up, so I'm going to go really fast so it doesn't take long. The corners of the doors are kind of curved, so I added a little bit more on there when I took the paint off. Really wasn't too hard to do it. Some spots it was a little bit more difficult. I had to press harder. But I love the style of these doors because there's so much um, sanding you can do on here. It makes them look really nice. So here is the door all sanded and I'm getting ready to do the glaze on it. But first, I want to show you how the buffet turned out. This is before I put the glaze on because I'm just going to do light glaze, but this is how I did the distressing and you can kind of still see all the little dings in it and I think that just gives it character. I really like this. And this has given me lots of storage as you can see. I'm just going to kind of go around, show you all the different areas. Okay, now I'm going to show you, and it's going to be sped up just a little bit, how I did this. This is the third step with the glaze that you get. I put it on with the cheesecloth. I take a damp cheesecloth and wipe it off and then do a dry one because I just want a light uh, glaze on here since I'm matching my dining room table. Other furniture, I've made the glaze a lot heavier. I don't... Um, use a wet piece of cheesecloth to wipe it off. I just put the glaze on and then a dry piece of cheesecloth. But like I said, this one just needed a very, very light coating of color just to not make it so white and to match my table and chairs. And that's all you do. Real easy. Well, here it is, all done. I really love how this turned out. I've done a little bit of decorating over here on this side. Let's get really close to it here the best I can. The table is in my way, but we're gonna come down here. I love the way, you know, the doors have a lot of detail to them. Unfortunately, the drawers don't, but I do love how this looks. Very, very nice. Let's come over here to the side. And I think, you know, that it looks great with the table and chairs. And I'm going to be putting my mom's tea set on here. That's one thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of bring the chair over here. And we can see. Hopefully, I have to have the blinds closed in here because the painters have the plastic and all the tape on the windows and it's kind of ugly looking to look at. I think this coordinates again. I think I did pretty well on coordinating with this. Okay, so now I'm going to get the rest of my decorating done here on the buffet, but I wanted to show you this really, really quick because I did put a little bit in this corner here and this chair is a great find and you want to know where I found it? in my basement. Yes, I already had this. I grew up with this. Actually, I think my oldest brother Gary used it. Uh, he was born in 1955, so this is pretty old. It's missing a few pieces of it, but I do love it. And I painted it to match. Uh, I left the bottom. I don't think we can, I don't know if we can get underneath here. Let's see. That's the color it was. <laughs> you can kind of see, because I didn't do any kind of glazing, so I just, uh, took the sandpaper to it and that you can see the that is the natural color of it. I thought this is a cute little chair and you know what I can actually still fit in it but it did break here but when I painted it it's kind of more solid. It's just a little booster chair back in the day and I thought it looked really cute in here. I've had it in my dining rooms before but of course you know it was the other color. I think that looks really pretty there. Now 
we're going to get started on the buffet. So I'm going to be decorating the tea set first. And I just have all kinds of pieces here. I'm just going to be throwing on here just anywhere I want to, I guess. No rhyme or reason. I dropped one. <laughs> yeah. So this is basically what I do. Just tuck things in here and there. Let me see what all I got. I kind of like these little grapes. These are all like little pieces off of other picks that I've pulled off. Just a little berry pick tuck in there. Let's see. Got a few of my little thingy-majiggies. <laughs> I really love these. Let's see about putting one over here, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that there. And you know, I'm also going to place a couple of uh, pumpkins over here, and then I have that pumpkin I'm just going to set over there. I might put a little bit of picks there. I don't know yet. Like I said, I just kind of throw a few things in here and there. I don't want to stand. I might have to block the view just for a little bit here. Sorry about that. But for me to work this side, I gotta stand there. Those grapes are in here. I kinda like these grapes. Let me stick some grapes right here. Yeah, I kinda like this bunch. Maybe just sitting over there like that. Get some pine cones. Let's bring some color, a little bit more color in here. things over here so let me move the camera over that way okay so I think I'm gonna take this pine cone and just kind of tuck it back there it hides the stems maybe one more pine cone here and this is the pumpkin I'm just gonna set over here maybe like that and we'll just tuck that in right there okay that is all I'm gonna do for the silver set I might put a few more of those little dangly thingamajiggies in I'll have to find some I think I have some more in another bunch I guess I'm doing mainly little bits and pieces of what I have left over to use. So we're gonna move the camera over that way and we'll get started on that last section. On this side, I have a plate holder here and I'm gonna put this sign here. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra this side. And I'm just gonna place a couple of pumpkins here. Okay, I'm gonna put some leaves in here, let me see. I said, I just have little pieces left over, basically. I have a few things that I could use, but I don't really like them, if you know what I mean. Just not the right colors I want to use. So I just thought I would grab a few picks. Let's see. Like that. I think I might. I'm going to put this pick over here. There we go. I think that's kind of cute around the pumpkin. What else do I have over here? Oh. This came off of a, a fall pick. It's got a lot of green to it, but I still like it. Let me see what to do here. I'm going to stick it just back here. I like it over on top of this pumpkin. And I also have just this little bit of color pop in the green. There we go. Just something like that. Let's see, what else do I have? I have so many just little pieces that I want to use. I kind of like to use these also. Let me see, I got some dark ones. Gonna play with this a little bit. And I kind of 
like this pick here. I don't know if I should pop it in here somewhere. Kind of like that. And I have this one with a little bit of white berries on it. This little piece here. And of course, some of these. Let's stick that in there like that. And let's see, maybe stick that there. Put the feather here. And for some reason, I have one little leaf here. should tuck that out. Maybe just right there. I just like to play with these things. here. It's down a little bit over to the side. There we go. Kind of like that. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do in here. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we'll get a close-up of the buffet and then the whole dining room. See how it looks all together. Now I have the blinds closed because the Plastic is still on the windows and it's kind of ugly to look at. <laughs> All right, let's go over here to the buffet area. And I just did a little arrangement here, and I love this. Uh, I have to show this to you. This is actually a ceramic pumpkin. The top comes off because if I turn it around here real quick, it's actually a jack o' lantern that you can put a candle in. And I've had this for a long time. I think I got it at Michael's. I've had it, oh my gosh, I mean, well over 10 years for sure. I really love it. Let that look really cute like that. And then I have my little chalkboard sign here, as you can see, that I'm just putting this sign here. I got this at Hobby Lobby many years ago. Just have it wired on and a few leaves. Come over here some close-up of here. Hopefully this isn't too dark in here. Turning on the light above the table really does nothing. I hope this turned out really pretty over here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these lamps or not. I haven't decided. I just threw these on here for now. And again over to this corner. Now this pumpkin matches the one that I put in my kitchen. I got these from Kirkland's. This is the much bigger one. Just thought I'd set it there with a little bit of fall leaves. And of course I have my cabinet here. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my ring light in and put it behind me so we can see if this will brighten up this corner. All right, I think that looks a little better. Here, you know, in person, it's not dark over here at all. It's just the minute I get the camera over here, it looks really dark. So now we're going to go over to the other side of the dining room. Okay, first we'll look at the table again. Like I said, I haven't changed anything on the table. I thought about changing out my centerpiece here. I might do that soon. I kind of like to switch things up and possibly 
my uh, plates. I will be doing something for Thanksgiving though, so I might wait till then. And of course here is my beautiful hutch. I am so in love with this hutch. I am so glad I went to that ARC thrift store that day. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> Just happened to be in that neighborhood. So lucky I went. Before I close out the video today, I wanted to go over the product that I used to paint my buffet and my hutch, and I want to go over the cost of what everything did. Now, I used the Rust Oleum Cabinet Transformation, and I got a little picture up here of the container that it comes in. I get it from Home Depot. Now, I found out a little while ago that if you order it online just for the pure white, because that's what I use, you still have to get it mixed into the store, but there's other colors that you can get mixed. It is so much cheaper. I got my kit for like $62 online just by getting the pure white. It just comes in a regular cardboard box, so you know, the brown cardboard, and it doesn't look like that packaging like you get in the store. So I was a little worried at first. I thought, oh my gosh, am I only going to get one can of paint because you get two cans of paint in there. But no, it is the full kit. You just don't get that fancy packaging. But it was like $62. And you know, I recently went online again because I want to get some more because st I still got a lot to paint. I want to paint the cabinets in my laundry room and possibly in the master bathroom too. And I'm probably going to do a little bit maybe make a two-tone of my furniture in my office here so now I only got one kit left and I know that's not enough so I thought well, let's go on and see if I can get some more it's available and it's on sale it was like on sale for $50 a kit so I got I'm ordering two more kits that's coming so that is something you might want to do if you want to have just the pure white this I've used this for many years three kitchens and lots of furniture and I have no complaints so the cost of the kit was around $62. The hutch was $80. The buffet was $22.50. That's a great deal. And uh, the only thing that I added here to the buffet, I know you can't see it from here, but it was just on my doors. I did those wooden uh, accents. And I think those, I got them at Home Depot. I, you know, I think they were $8 a piece. So that is a great deal if you could get furniture and paint it and it's really not that hard because I always say if I can do it, anybody can do it. And the first kitchen I did, it was uh, three houses ago or two houses ago, how do you say that? It was, this is the second house since then. I just jumped into it and did it. I didn't know what I was doing. I just read the directions and did it. I've really never painted cabinets before over solid wood unless they were already painted. So that's so much easier to do. But it is a great product. I highly recommend it to use that one. It is super easy, no sanding. You just use a deglosser on it and they give you one of those green scrubbies in there. And you know, it kind of smells like Windex to me. That's what, and that's all you do. You don't have to sand unless you want to sand. I mean, I sanded a little bit on my buffet because it had some deep scratches and I didn't want them too deep, but I still like the character of it, keeping the little nicks in it like that. Well, that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let's see, I'm gonna have something next week. They are finishing up. I don't know if you have, might've heard a few things that are like over here painting the windows right now. So the house is almost done so I can start working on my front porch to get that done. Got a few more things still in the house to do, a few little vignettes, and then, so I'll be having my front porch uh, reveal. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on the vignettes or just do it with the home tour. So there's at least gonna be two more videos. And I can't think of anything else right now, <laughs> except that I wanna wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.